listen up. We are preparing for our seafood boil for our mukbang part one. We have our corn, some butter, Georgia Boy sausages, we have onions, garlic, the Be Lovely seasonings, the seasonings that she used for her sauce. We have snow crab legs. We also have some real lemon juice. We have hot sauce and the shrimp. We're also gonna add some potatoes and we're gonna add some eggs. Listen, don't knock it till you try it. Oh, don't forget the garlic. Yes, garlic goes in the butter. Stay tuned. Listen, this spot was too small, so we had to switch it up. We are making the bee lovely sauce. Seafood sauce. For the first time, we're mixing the butter, melting and mixing the butter. And then we're gonna add our onions so they can saute in the butter. It's good for you. <laughs> How long should we saute the onions? I believe until the, the onions are a little translucent. You okay. don't want them too, too. I don't like them too cooked up. I like mine a little fried. But you gotta put the seasoning and everything in still going to be cooking some more, so it'll be good. Then next I'm going to put the season into the water for our seafood. We got two pots. One pot is for the crabs and one pot is for the sausage, potatoes, and shrimp. Some seafood seasoning. Can you open this one? We added Old Bay. And we also have some Saturn's crab ball. And I'm going to put the rest of this here in the pot of crabs. Sauce. I think we're ready for that. Mm -hmm. It'll be lovely seasoning. Oh, we gotta also add some lemon juice. You can just throw a couple of swigs in there, you know. Shake it up, baby. Everything, especially if you know how to cook. Mm -hmm. A little hot sauce, yeah, that's good. If we need some more towards the end, we'll add more. That's good, that's good. Because we got a lot of pepper in it as it is. That good old Crystal's hot sauce. And now for the bee lovely seasoning that we made homemade. I've had this before, but my kids haven't had it, so they can't wait. 
actually we kind of doubled the batch and we're going to add more more to this we're going to turn this flame down a little bit because we don't want our butter to burn Right, exactly. Okay. We'll be back. Let's see, some corn. We added mm -hmm. corn to this mukbang into the pot so it can get all hot and we can eat up. Oh. And we're adding corn to the pot. Continuing to cook. I've already added some. I'm just adding more to the pot. You gotta save room for the potatoes and the sausage and whatever else we're gonna throw in here. Shrimp. Some shrimp. That will be last. We've added the corn. Now we're gonna add the potatoes. We've already washed them. And this is how I put them in the pot where it won't splash. Voila. Now we're gonna add our crab legs to the hot pot and the seasoning. Mm -hmm. These crab legs came from Ambos Seafood. And they sell meat also. I hope I'm saying that right. In Savannah, Georgia. Oh, we gonna have to lay them a little better than that because they gonna have to get dumped. You sort of like stand them up, we might have to add some more water to it. But the more we put in there, you know the water is going to rise up and just cover it. I'm taking over. So y'all look. I know y'all saying that looking crazy. But it's okay because it's going to be steamed good enough for us to use this Be Lovely sauce. Mm -hmm. So we had to add some to the corn and potato and sausage and whatever else going in this pot. But it's going to be good. You see that steam coming up? We're going to add some more water so it can steam up some more. And this is what's going on. Now we were supposed to do this on the outside in the big pot. But it's raining. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> we'll be back. Now we're getting ready to add the sausage. Don't spread it. These are called Georgia boys. Oh, she's Easy, easy. Easy does it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they swimming, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, now we're gonna get the eggs prepared to go into the water, the boiled eggs. So you just tap on the top, and I just twist it to put a little hole in it so the seasoning can soak all in the eggs. And I'll, watch, I'll show you when I get ready to dump this into the water. But let me finish these two off camera. I'm getting ready to drop the eggs. I've already put the hole in them. I just showed you how. And make sure that the egg, the pointed side of the egg is where you poke the hole in. I know this is kind of full, so I'm gonna have to. And I'll put the rest in off camera. Now we're getting ready to add 
the star of the show, one of the stars, it is the shrimp. These are large shrimps. And it's a lot of them. So I'm gonna put them in the water and then I'm gonna turn off the pot because it doesn't take that long for shrimp, maybe three to four minutes. And the water is very hot. So we'll let it boil for one minute, continue, and then we're gonna turn them off. Because we don't want the, the shell to stick to the shrimp. We want everything to be nice and right. I might add some more seafood to this. What y'all think, girls? Yes. <laughs> They're not little girls. <laughs> As you can see, they already turned in. Yes, so we might just go ahead and turn this off. See our egg over here peeking out? <laughs> oh, we and see where I took the hole, poked the hole right there. Yeah, baby. It's taken and dumped them to the side. Potatoes are ready, the corn is ready, of course, the sausage is ready. And once these babies get pink. They look orange to me. People say they pink. We're gonna eat. Well, I did ask them to say something. Stay tuned for part two, the seafood mukbang.